everybody, welcome back to another grilling video. And today, we're gonna to be doing something that you can do when you have some bananas that are starting to get a little brown and you say, you know what, I don't know that the kids are gonna eat that. I'm gonna show you a way to take this banana and turn it into something amazing and fancy. We're gonna be making a sort of bananas foster, if you will, not on fire. We're not gonna go all tricky with that. Really, really simple. What we need is some butter, some brown sugar, some banana, and depending on your likes, a little rum. I'm gonna use just a bit of rum because I think it makes the flavor absolutely amazing. All right, this is really simple. Let me show you the first thing we're gonna do is get a little butter going right in our pan. So we're just putting a little bit of butter and a little bit of brown sugar, and I'm gonna put a little bit of rum in here. This is one of my favorite rums. It's Old St. Pete Rum and Spice. Uh, sadly, I had it in the freezer because I like it in my Coke, so this will take a little while to warm up, and we want to cook it till we cook the alcohol out of it. There we go. That rum smell is just amazing. So once you get that nice and heated up, we're going to go ahead and add our bananas right to this little mixture here. Now, I like to cut the banana in quarters when I do this. You'll notice I still have the skin on here. I'm just going to go ahead and take that and drop it right in there. Do that with all four pieces. I'm just doing one banana in here. And again, it's okay that this is a little bit of a discolored banana. We're going to be cooking this till it's soft and dark anyway. And that just means the banana has a ton of great flavor. There we go. Let's let those cook for a while. Over here. Yeah, right here. Hey, do me a favor. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like it, subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell notification so you get notified of new videos. Thanks. All right, as this is cooking down, we now want to flip over the bananas. You want to be very careful when you do it because they get very soft and easy to break. Not that it matters all that much, but presentation-wise, it's nice to have them whole. There you go. They are just about done. Now here's the thing about a dish like this. Quite frankly, you've got to be quick. So we're going to serve this Bananas Foster over a little bit of ice cream. It is just about ready. I went inside and I went ahead and scooped three little balls of ice cream in a bowl. I'm going to come out and do this very, very quick. So I'm going to set the camera up by the grill. So I come out with it, put it right on, and then we'll go ahead and give it a taste test. Because frankly, it's going to melt some of that uh, ice cream for sure. That's what makes it so good. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and get this banana scooped right underneath there. Drop it right on top of that ice cream. I know you think we're done, right? No way. We got the best part right here. Oh, this is probably traditionally done over vanilla, a little more than chocolate, but that rum flavor is going to be amazing. And with that, we have an amazing Bananas Foster to give a shot here, too. A little ice cream, a little banana, a little of that rum sauce. Oh my gosh. I gotta tell you, that rum sauce would be so good on almost any dessert. It's phenomenal. The warm banana, the brown sugar, the tang of that old St. Pete rum. Man, is that good. Not alcoholic, by the way. We cooked all the alcohol out. It just has this amazing, rich island flavor. That's what this particular spiced rum is. And it makes a difference. Wow. All right, I'm going to go inside, give the bananas foster to the little one. She'll be thrilled. Safe and happy grilling, y'all. This is a good one. You ought to give it a shot. What a way. Three to five minutes. Take any other dessert. Turn it, turn it to something absolutely amazing. Rum, banana, a tablespoon of brown sugar, a little bit of butter. Everybody has it, right? It's amazing. Bye, y'all. Safe and happy grilling.